Hello and welcome back to Outback Zoo and we are having, yes, ah, there you go, so ah, that was fast. So we are having one new Joey in our little zoo and uh, Smiley is the lucky mother of, whoa, Varu, Varu does not have that much of a genetics, um, Varu, Varu, you know what, we are gonna keep you Varu. And um, not much else is happening. What is this? So, um, cassowary cleanliness. Okay, yeah, we just got a um, new water cleaning station in uh, the back of our zoo because we had some issues. So I just, you know, uh, along this part a little bit around here. I try to hide it from the guest's view as much as I could. Here's a transformator and a... Uh, water treatment machine so we can clean up this mess it's not even you know you cannot really see what's down there and i see how that could be an issue we had some issues in here actually because our baby lizards already um yeah already matured so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of those oh what's happening okay yeah research completed on alligators oh, sorry crocs crocodiles not to be messed up um so we do have two new juveniles which we're going to certainly sell right away these are just you know our baby lizards that matured and uh we're gonna actually, I think, log in. We should be able to uh, know who's who. So uh, log is going to be dad and uh, Harper is going to be mother of our future lizards. You could see it, you know, at the maturity level that these are just recently adult, but still we want to keep track of those. And that's pretty much it. Uh, not much has happened since then. Uh, the croc seems to be happy in a, uh, their new habitat just you know um hanging out and having some fun yeah she's probably oh uh, uh, oh that's she so she's probably calling her mate you know come home it's dinner time no no it's just poop clean time so whatever um this works and uh, we can uh, instead focus our attention here and add uh, some uh, new animal to our zoo which keeps bigger and bigger and it's going to bet even bigger. Now let me start the speed build with a little bit of thank you note to everyone who is uh, subscribed, who comments or uh, give me likes because uh, it's the subscriptions and engagement uh, that helps me grow this channel really the way the YouTube algorithms work. This goes a long way. And at the same time, I uh, can see from my uh, channel analytics that a lot of uh, you viewers are not subscribed to my channel. While I do appreciate every one of you, I would like to kindly ask you to hit that subscribe button. You can turn off the notification, whatever. It's just that it helps my channel to grow and to promote it for another viewers. If there is uh, enough uh, subscription, likes, comments, whatever. So uh, really the subscription is the easiest way for you to uh, support me. It doesn't cost you anything and uh, I would really do appreciate it. So I think that's enough for the shameless self-promotion. And um, let me tell you about what I'm building right now. So hopefully I won't forget to put up my reference uh, image uh, right now. So what is this? Um, it's a cafe in National Museum in uh, Canberra. It's, uh, I think it's from the backside of that uh, building uh, facing the waterfront. So uh, this was my main inspiration for uh, this little build. Um, it's not going to be cafe like it is in uh, the uh, real. It's going to be a custom viewpoint for what's going to be a safari. And uh, yeah, I will get back to it a little bit later. Uh, the safari but uh, first let me just uh, tell you quickly that uh, you might experience some <laughs> weird cuts in uh, this video that's uh, because uh, when I was actually building it I was a little bit tired and got a lot of interruptions from various sources so um, that's I uh, yeah that's why I have to uh, build it on uh, like in stages a little bit but uh, 
um, I had another problem with this build and uh, not exactly with uh, this viewpoint uh, which I think is pretty good and I'm happy with it but um, it's uh, rather about the surroundings I've put after that I wasn't quite decided at the time I was building this um, if I want to continue uh, the surroundings in uh, the modern team, if I want to continue in like the Australian team we have on uh, the Australian side of the zoo, or if I want to switch completely to uh, the like African decorations and stuff. So uh, in the end, um, I end up with a mesh of a uh, bit of everything and anything. So. Um, that quite did not work for me so when we will be reviewing the final product you will see me uh, point out to you and uh, you will see that uh, lots of parts have changed uh, from what you've seen in the speed build so uh, that's because I wasn't really happy with it uh, especially the walls of uh, uh, the zebra habitat and uh, yeah some uh, some some parts of uh, the detailing i might even cut it out of the speed build actually so we will see it's uh it's really not what i want to have this area look like so in in the end i stick just with uh, some some uh, modern stuff around this uh, viewpoint to connect it up with the koala house that's going to be just behind this viewpoint so uh, that's going to mesh together rather well uh, but for uh, the other parts of this intended safari I think we will go more to the African teaming um, yeah I think we have enough of the Australian parts already in uh, this zoo so we can uh, switch off a little bit and uh, um, change it to something else so it's going to be part African part modern uh, we will see about that in the next episode and uh, so I hinted that there's going to be safari in uh, this episode right and you could see it from uh, the title of this video so um, what are we actually building um, I want to create a safari with the ride the safari ride the jeeps the tour and um, create uh, one big habitat for a lot of those savanna African animals and uh, the ride is going to uh, to ride through uh, that big habitat and uh, this is going to be the edge of the habitat with this custom viewpoint I think we gonna we are going to reuse it a little bit more from the other sides because I think this habitat is really going to be big but uh, that's a lot to do right so we are going to do this incrementally uh, not all at once because um, that's just <laughs> not within the realms of uh, possibilities right so we will probably be just expanding uh, what we already have that's why uh, the barrier around this habitat is kind of makeshift and that's okay because it's going to go away once uh, we expand this a little bit and uh, we are going to um, add animals as uh, we go through the uh, through this expansion so for today it's going to be just zebra but uh, we can add uh, one or maybe two animals per episode uh, I would like at least maybe f four five I don't know how many animals we are going to end up in this uh, big safari habitat but actually I do have some plans um you know what let's just not reveal everything right now but let's just say that we are going to spend a couple of next episode on the, this safari and we are going to uh, uh, be adding uh, new animals new new parts and uh, expanding on it uh, pretty nicely and uh, yeah right now I do have fun zebra already in so uh, this episode is going to feature zebra as our animal I've bought one for thousand leaves it uh, seems to me like a lot so I, I think we are going to have to raise some of the animals we already have and sell them to get the conservation credits because the safari is going to ask for a lot of animals actually and uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit struggle to um, you know be able to afford them because I'm not 
exactly I don't exactly have a lot of those credits so um, yeah we are going to have to earn some uh, for uh, our animals to be able even <laughs> to do the safari so uh, but at least we do have some plans for the next episode which I do like um, I was thinking at first just you know to add some African animals and then it struck me then the, that the safari is uh, way better choice and way better idea than to have uh, like um, five or six pretty similar uh, enclosures uh, one for each animal so I think the safari makes sense and I think it's even a, a popular popular thing to do so hopefully you do like it and uh, let me know which which animal we should add next for uh, to uh, this safari because zebra is a good start but I think there's a lot more that we can uh, go with um, I think springbok, um, wildebeest, giraffes, ostriches um, there's a lot to a um, lot to choose from I'm definitely going to search for some of the enrichment bonus for like the uh, animals that enrich themselves if they are uh, together with uh, within uh, one enclosure so um, yeah I really need to look at that a little bit uh, for the nature part of this enclosure I first of all I wanted to make like a dried creek in there but then I figured you know what we can make just a big riverbed but really small little river flow just in uh, in uh, into the uh, riverbed like it's it's drying from time to time because we are in the Australian outback so uh, right now it's just a little a uh, little river flowing in uh, there but it could be you know huge or nothing based on uh, how much dry uh, the season actually is so uh, that's uh, looking good and uh, I think uh, we are slowly reaching the end of uh, this speed build so I'm, uh, I'm uh, going to go to the life part and we will need to buy some uh, more zebra and uh, review what we have built and uh, finish this episode so um, let's do it Well, I have to open this life part with a sad news. Unfortunately, we've lost Ayua, our beloved dingo. She has died, um, so that's a sad news. Fortunately, we do have puppy Eva is uh, pregnant once again, so we probably are going to have new dingoes. So uh, yeah, that's the circle of life. But uh, let's turn our focus here and do some uh, quick review. So I've put together this uh, little signage here uh, that tells you right away there is safari going on. So the views to the right, the right to the left, and uh, that's going to probably have to wait for another episode. The right itself. So far, we do have this little zebra enclosure, and we do have some issues. And uh, yeah, it rather makes sense. So let's pause the game for quite a little bit and uh, take care of it first. And uh, we do need a zookeeper for the uh, zebra. Yes, so work zone. Do we have a work zone? Probably not. So we are going to have to create a work zone. So this is a keeper hut and uh, it's going to actually I think it's going to let's call it safari not zebra because there's going to be much more animals than just the zebra in there so uh, stuff room huh is this stuff room yeah this is large stuff room okay so that's fine and we do have one uh, new request uh, let's call it that way from uh, Janneke she uh, commented my video on a uh, YouTube and I'm really thank you for that uh, so Janneke you are going to I uh, hope I did not butcher this name no it should be fine so Janneke you are going to be a keeper in that safari habitat so I hope you like it and uh, yeah take care of the zebra well so what do we have here um, I think we can unpause 
and let's see so the safari views right so this is it this is the modern viewpoint um the sun is shining in the front of it actually in the evening and we do have uh, 10 10 a.m in the morning so we have to wait for some sun shaft into this area but i think it looks well i've raised it a little bit so it kind of overviews the habitat which is a mixture of uh, australian and african uh, flora as usual i don't care about that much so we do have the smell um so it's going to be stripes i guess um that looks like a solid name for a male zebra and uh he seems to be fine needs a little bit more long grass but since this is not final version of this habitat we don't care too much so i've changed a little bit the um yeah i made this a uh, larger because it's going to have to house more than just zebra and uh, change this little wall here uh, also in the other side and uh, give it more a uh, little bit more modern look so here's a little bit shortcut if you go are if you are going for the koala or the camel or you can go here and watch the zebra not many people are here right now so uh, that's obvious when uh, we are have just one zebra so what's the issues uh-huh mechanic cannot reach the okay yeah we need to create actually new zone for the safari for the mechanics and that so but it's fine right now and the research of course the research yes um so we do have the crocodiles research not yet but we don't have basically any any research on the zebra so let's just go ahead with that and um yeah okay now we have some sun so i think this sign is pretty good when there will be some uh, trees behind it it will you know get some uh, some background and uh, it will look even better so this is fine i can release this uh, onto the workshop if you do like so as well as this uh, modern structure i think i will copy one here and uh, make more of it but right now let's look at our zebra where is it okay this guy here oh um i thought it would be a little bit bigger but nevertheless it's nice it is nice so i think you might want some company right so let's look at the zoopedia and the zebras actually can have three to six one male five females so let's get you f some females because the safari with just one animal that does not look quite right <laughs> so we do have maybe the filter in let's see um okay so let's sort it out by price is it is it though oh oh this one hey i want you oh we got one for like nothing i mean i've bought the mail for 1000 leaves and right now there are just these awesome females oh but these are albino um honestly i'm not i'm not a big fan of the albino ones actually um i think zebra should have stripes but looks like we don't have any any other choice mm, somebody is putting those albinos for um very very reasonable prices so we are probably yeah we are probably going to have uh albino females all right um yeah it's from the same guy so let's just buy one um like i said i'm really not a big fan of the albino animals i mean it's unique right but it just doesn't feel right so let's move you here um good that we've <laughs> actually named the first one the stripes because this one is not going to be stripes at all so uh what's your going to be named as um yeah i don't know so it's going to be uh hoofy hoofy yeah that's nice so we are going to be mother oh me messed that up once again right so your mother and your dad just you know to have some order in there oh it's so old oh damn it ah that's why it was so cheap yeah 
I always forgot to check that. Oh, poor me. So let's go back to the market. It makes all sense now, guys. It all makes sense. So this one is fertility gene is terrible, but um, the age is nice. This one is solid. Um, so we're gonna lose Hoofy probably very soon. Um, so what's the life expectancy of the zebra actually? We need to check that. So it's 25 years. So if this one is uh, da -da 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 -da, nine years old, that's pretty good. I think we got, oh, this one is not bad either. Hmm, that's giving me some pause actually. But I like this one and let's buy one more. Okay. So we are going to have Hoofy and we are going to have uh, Snoofy. And uh, hopefully this one will live a little bit more longer than Hoofy. We are going to lose her pretty soon, unfortunately. And it's my bad. Let's look at her. Oh! It does have some stripes, even though these are pretty, just you know, gray. Oh, and it's it's a little bit wounded. Sorry, Hoofy, you've been through a lot, I guess. So um, we do have some issues. Um, I'm even considering not putting the vending machines anymore because they broke down all the time like hell. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, okay, so we have managed this one and uh, we don't care about this one so so that's good we are already uh, getting some uh, darker shades here because the time has run out and we haven't really appreciated this view so i will maybe put up some cinematics in the end uh, because i really do like the structures in the structure in here and even you can get some good views from around here okay we do have three animals in in our safari and uh, where is the male? Okay, he's a little bit tired. Look at him, looking pretty nice. Um, I think this could make for a nice view, you know, the sun is uh, fading and uh, it's got me thinking, is that, is that the black stripes on the white animal or white stripes on the black animal? Hmm, okay, a little bit thinking. Um, yeah. How about the other animals? Do we need other assistance somewhere? Probably not. It will take a while. But, oh, okay. I guess we can have some more puppies. So, offspring due to July and we are in the July. So, let's, uh, let's see how many we are going to get this time. They are having a snack here. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of lights in here, so uh, yeah, where are those offsprings? Show them to us, offspring imminent, I mean, it's about time, so okay, she's searching for a nice place to rest and uh, it's Lucas, oh, oh. It's Matilda, it's Matilda and all of them are gold and uh, that's it. Okay, just two of them this time, but that's fine. Oh, Mia, okay. <laughs> um, we have so many dingoes. Um, I'm gonna keep the names for this time, I guess, or um, let's, let's call them Puppy because this way I will remember that they are the kids of the puppy Eva and uh, we are going to have m a little bit more puppies and uh, I think um, we will flood the market once they uh, reach the maturity so the one three and two are already approaching now it's a slow process but uh, let's search for one because uh, he's our favorite and unfortunately we don't have any lights so you know what do you know this trick um, if you try to save anything as a blueprint and then you can uh, set custom hour here you can set it to like 10 a.m. and it will change uh, the time of the day even if you are playing in uh, the 
franchise so yeah let's get the ui off um where are all those little puppies hey where have everybody gone for a swim nope yes oh there you go let's look at this one it's nice so um if you change the uh, time of the day like this way it will actually mess up a little bit with your game because it still show it's uh, midnight but it's uh, actually the day uh, regarding the oh there's some action regarding the time but uh, if you you know just uh, leave to the main menu and back it will uh, comes again to the correct time so don't worry it's, it's fixable so do we have do we have some no nothing really so much love and uh, no offspring all right um it doesn't work that way you know sometimes it just does not happen but we have a lot of dingoes and hopefully in the next episode we are going to add uh, some uh, more animals to our little upstart uh, safari and uh, we are going to maybe get some uh, zebra springs who knows so uh, nevertheless a good episode and um, we're gonna continue on oh, where is the edge of the map actually okay there it is okay so we do have enough uh, space for the ride to begin and i would like it to run through this enclosure which is going to expand like three maybe four times and uh, that's uh, for the next episode so i hope to see you in the next one guys and uh, have fun have fun mm -hmm.